So today we have 70 women entrepreneurs um, at the courtyards of Andover and they are all unique uh, women run businesses, so crafts and vendors uh, alike. And so um, they're all women, women run businesses. Yeah, so about five years ago, as I scrolled through social media, I saw a lot of my mom friends um, or friends in general that were um, trying to do a side hustle or trying to um, conquer the home-based business um, or you know do something like that. And so I just thought I have an amazing platform to try and help them grow their businesses. And so I thought if I could tell everybody I knew about their businesses, then we could help them grow. And so it started out uh, back then, we had about 40 vendors our first year, uh, and then COVID hit. So we took a year off and came back last year, and we've grown every single year. Um, so this year we have 69 vendors. Um, I think everybody is very appreciative of just another uh, woman trying to help them and empower them in their business. And also, their booth fees go towards a $1,000 scholarship for an Anoka graduate that is going off to study business um, also. Yes, yep, so it just goes full circle. It's all about helping the girls. So we hope to help these women build their businesses and they're hopefully helping another girl um, go off and, and accomplish great things also. Yeah, so I think we're huge into small business. So whether it be through this or your local small businesses in the community, uh, we really encourage people to shop small. Um, you know, those people need all the help that they can get to put food on their tables and you know a roof over their head and so you're, you're there's no middleman these people are the face of their businesses and so we really love people to shop small and a lot of these vendors are from the actual community so you're putting your money back right back into the community then they're shopping small and they're shopping in their community and they're you know helping their kids play sports in the community and so it's really again full circle um, these are small businesses who are going to spend money in the community but also just this sense of community and connection within um, you know within the area just something that is very personal versus you know a big box store so uh, you know that's that's our that's our prayer is that we fill the the hall and, and have these women have a really successful day uh, so far again great feedback of just how busy they are I see people leaving with with shopping bags and so that's good uh, we've been hearing the parking lot is full so that's always great and so yeah I mean so far so good we're super thankful for um, I, you know all the vendors I'm super thankful for my team we couldn't have done that uh, you know we're just a real estate team who decided to put on a craft show and so I'm super thankful for you know everybody involved and uh, you know we're just hopeful that we have a wonderful day and you know lots of shopping and a uh, great uh, thing for the community.